Paralympics is the third largest sporting event in the world and considered the most inspirational. And that story all stems from the remarkable work of Professor Sir Ludwig Gutmann. Ludwig Gutmann was my father. I guess I never really realised whilst I was growing up what a very great man he was and what great problems he must have got through in his life. He arrived in this country as a Jewish refugee, having lost his very successful career in Germany as a doctor, coming to a country that your country's at war with, and yet he came to this country and helped in the war effort by setting up the spinal unit and completely transforming the way that people with spinal injuries and disabilities were treated. His legacy is, is quite amazing really. So it's, it's rehabilitation, it's medical, and it's also sport. It was not until 2012 and before those amazing games in London that I really realized just what he'd done for people with spinal cord injury. And of course, I wouldn't still, I've been in a, using a wheelchair now for 54 years, and I'd have probably been dead after a year. To give the possibility of leading still a full life, which is what I've done, I think that's, that's for me, is the number one uh, legacy. And when I saw 80,000 people in a stadium shouting, Johnny Peacock, who was doing the 1,000 metres. And they weren't looking at disabled sport. They were looking at a great sporting event. The fact that, you know, there he was leading. It didn't matter that he only had one leg and had a blade. That None of that mattered. They were looking at sport. People need to have the chance to be able to dig into, see and listen to a part of, or get the whole story on what this movement has been about ever since it started in 48 in, in the UK. And how did Parasport get out to the world? It got out from Stoke Mandeville, this very small village, 40 miles to the northwest of London, where everybody came from the world, learnt about it from Sir Ludwig Gutmann, and took it back and, and expanded it. And that's that's what it's brought today, an amazing movement. The story of Gutman is now available to a huge segment of society who otherwise would not have been able to enjoy it. That's incredibly exciting, incredibly positive, and I'm really, really happy about that relationship with Calibra Books. I'd like to read you a short passage from that to whet your appetite. The book's called The Spirit of Stoke Mandeville. Gutman's arrival on the scene at Stoke Mandeville was greeted without enthusiasm and the unit opened without ceremony. The spinal ward, under a German doctor, would certainly mean extra work for hospital staff already under pressure. As a doctor and a scientist about to embark on a pioneering direction of modern medicine, Gutman cannot have found the prospects particularly encouraging. Now we are lucky at Calibre because we're an authorised body um, acting on behalf of other people so it means that if a book is only available in print and therefore not accessible to a lot of people then we can record it into audio. Our library is fantastically um, eclectic and varied so we have books available that actually might not be available um, in audio anywhere else. We were delighted to be able to um, put in the spirit of Stoke, Stoke Mandeville, the Sir Ludwig Gutmann story because otherwise it may not be heard by people so we were very pleased to be involved in this project.